Hello and welcome. This is a basic video about desktop virtualization client side. There's another type called server side. Client side virtualization means that all the processing and computing and storage is happening at the computer where the user is sitting. Uh, a hypervisor is the tool that provides this and one of the most common vendors of uh, virtualization hypervisors is a company called VMware. So I'm going to launch a VMware player to show you what desktop virtualization client side is. It is the ability to run a complete computing environment from inside a window or almost running it kind of like a computer application. So I'm going to start my uh, accounting environment which is a Windows XP uh, computing environment. Now what's happening is VMware has launched a hypervisor that's the window in which this operating system is going to run. So notice what's going on here. I've got my Windows 7 environment right here, which is where the recording of this video is taking place. But also on this same computer, I'm starting up a copy of Windows XP inside this window. This window is called a hypervisor. Anyway, I'm going to pause for a minute so that we can let this finish booting up and then we'll come back and talk about what this does. Okay, we're back. And now my Windows XP uh, virtualized desktop is booted up. Now why would I want this? Well, there's a lot of reasons why you want this. Uh, the reason that I am using Windows XP uh, as my accounting environment is because many of the applications in which I've done my taxes in previous years were designed for Windows XP and may or may not be compatible with Windows 7 environment. Now there's some advantages here. One of the advantages is that it keeps all my accounting applications in a separate environment. And this environment can be moved to other computers. So this is very handy. Today, generally, software is installed on a computer. The computer lives from three to four years. The computer dies. And then we have to install new software again, recover applications, restore from backups, etc. I can have all my accounting applications with the accounting data or the tax data all saved inside this environment which can then be copied, backed up, moved from computer to computer and I can even lock down the environment so that it's sealed off from the from the host environment. The host environment being the computer, the larger computer that I'm actually running this on. Um, the other thing you can do is, like I said, maintain the compatibility. Sometimes applications are designed at some point in time to run on the popular operating system of the day, such as Windows 2000 or Windows XP. As we upgrade our computers and those operating systems are no longer available, those applications may not run. So desktop virtualization is also used for, uh, for what we call legacy compatibility. Um, another reason why you want desktop virtualization possibly is that it gives you the ability to manage the environment separate from the host environment. Again, the host being the, the, the actual physical computer that this virtualized environment is running. It gives you the ability, say for instance, to create a set of tools that you make available to users that could be, in essence, given to what we call BYOC, bring your own computer. So for instance, if one of your employees or associates wants to provide hardware to work with you, but you want to give them a custom tailored operating system in which to conduct that work, this is one way you could do it by using uh, a hypervisor or desktop virtualization. Now, If you'd like to investigate desktop virtualization, go to the internet, search for VMware or just go to VMware.com and when you get there, uh, search on VMware's site for a product called Player and player should be free to download and then you can install that and you can create your own virtualized environments. At another time I'll talk about uh, desktop virtualization server side which actually works quite a bit differently. Okay, thank you for watching.